Hi, I'm Jessica Jordan. I'm a fisheries technician, and I'm going to talk to you today about large woody debris, which is an important component of our aquatic trans monitoring program. One of my jobs as a fisheries technician is to survey the streams and creeks for large woody debris and to see what the quality and quantity is. When there's an area that looks like it could use some more large woody debris, it turns into a restoration project, such as this fallen log behind me and this root wad, this stump right here. This wood has been intentionally added here, which created that critical coho salmon habitat. They create salmon habitat by creating pools. As the water comes through, it scours out the rocks and the gravel, making deep holes for nice, cool, dark water with cool temperatures. It's shaded. It adds protection from predators. And just behind me, on the other side of these logs, is a riffle that's really shallow, warmer water. It's swift moving. And the coho salmon and other fish don't spend as much time there. Those are some important reasons why the large woody debris are very important for creating critical coho salmon habitat. So our overall goal here is to essentially add more large woody debris and wood to the creeks in order to create the desired habitat for the coho salmon. 